How's everybody doing? <clears throat> we're live, we're live. We're gonna... We're gonna go through the method today. The classical paint. Oops, sorry. Gotta get used to all of my... <laughs> <laughs> All of my <clears throat> hotkeys. Yes, so this is the classical painting method. This is a piece of wood panel. One of my pleasures in life is turning discarded wood panels into works of art. And this is a method that I developed sort of based on the <clears throat> sort of based on the uh, old masters. We know today that they were heavily into technology. They use like the camera obscura and they use all kinds of devices to help them. Even the great Velasquez. <gasps> that's right. Even the Pico, the great Velasquez used um, <clears throat> optical instruments to enhance what they did. So what we use is a, a the PowerPoint. And so what this does, if you go like, it, let's look it out of the, if you take the grid line, this big grid to front, Display grid to front. I can always do this like no problem, but when I'm like, okay, so I don't know if you can see that. But what that does, all right, by displaying the grid line to front, is it gives you the opportunity and you want your source image to be about the same size as your. And so that gives you the ability to measure. All right. So if you're not sure with that nostrils, you check there and it's right there at 17. All right. And, and it's all about location and tone, tone and location, location and tone. And we're not the old masters didn't have any color. They used to have to grind rock and stone with a case of smallpox, you know. So, this method I teach, I teach you to set it up. And then we start out like this. We start out like that. We start out upside down. And then we just go, we fill in the raw basics, right? And then we're at a 30% reduction, 20%, 10%, and then full metal. And then eventually we turn it over, all right? And that's basically the computer side. And then the... So here's the painting. So it's just, I use a, I used to mix like crazy, but that was back in more younger, stupider times. So I just mix a five step tonal scale. And that's it, man. And so this immediately turns into a nine step because you are, will be mixing, I can't stand that mess. We can actually step this down just a little bit, always dark into the light, dark into the light. And I tell you, man, Talk about meditation. There's nothing more relaxing than mixing freaking paints. Okay, so then 
you need three of these. Three of these, light, medium, dark. Three of these, light, medium, dark. Three of these, light, medium, dark. So nine brushes and then a tenth one is a flat brush to sort of blur it out when you're in doubt. All right. So let's go to the, I'm getting better, I'm getting better. All right, so look, what do you see? Squint your eyes, squint your eyes. Are we about the right, about the right? Right, so squint your eyes, what do you see? So on your left here is the source image. I know it's so uh, awesome you can't tell. Over here is the painting. Just squint your eyes. What I see is that the eyebrows can be darkened up, right? Underneath the nose could have a little bit more darkness. The lips could get in there. And then the teeth could whiten up. All right, that's kind of what I see. And so I'm gonna take my small itty bitty brush. All right, the, this guy, the little one. I don't wanna make any big statements. Well, I don't know. Maybe I could go a little bit bigger, let's see. especially when you're first starting out. So you load up the brush a little bit. Like this, just put a little bit of turpentine. They do actually have uh, water-based oil paints now, which is so much easier to, to clean up with, but you can't teach an old dog new tricks then. So it's obviously not that dark. Okay, so you're trying to mix into the tone what you think it might be. All right, so on the, we wanna, so we can see here, I'll actually go start slideshow from, come slide. So we can actually see right here, right? It, it's darker here than it is there. So we wanna just sort of blow <laughs> the paint onto the can. You see that? You see how little I'm affecting it? All right. I'm going for a little bit more. Squid, raise back, come on back, squint your eyes. More look than put. You don't want to be. All right. Can we go more? What do you think? I think we can go more. What do you say? And as you get more. Like the location is kind of like the hardest part. Oh, see that, man? You see that, how that eyebrow is getting all up in there? Once you have the location set, then it's just a matter of, um, just a matter of, of course, my one brush that I like to use of placing the correct tone in the correct place. And you know, you go over the lines, it just kinda, you don't want it to be too jumpy. You don't want it to be too jumpy. And so, yeah, uh, I'm looking for art dealers, art enthusiasts, Anybody who wants to be a part of this collaborative portfolio, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, looks like the upper lip. What do you see? What do you see? Looks like the upper lip 
and not the whole upper lip, but right on the bottom. You see that? And this actually looks so good, but on the bottom here looks like there could be, and on the top, there looks like there's a little highlight, right? And so working like this, you know, you have no, you're not really thinking. You're just kind of search and destroy. And you get to the point, yeah, baby, that you can't even really look at it objectively. You're just, you know, looking for different things that are off. And sometimes you get so caught up in to the thing that you're just completely lost. And then you think the, the work is the most horrible thing you've ever done. Then you wake up the next morning and be like, oh my God, I painted that. <laughs> All right. And so, how does that look? That looks pretty good. Maybe we even can extend underneath the lip here, like right around right around there, hit it up, what do you say? And you know, you can put your favorite music on like I like to do. And the time just flies. And what's so cool about this process is that, you know, when you meditate, you, you sort of close your eyes, you meditate. You get up and that's that. But with this, you get into a meditative state, a mindful state. And then before you know it, you've got this big, beautiful painting, man. Yeah, I might be a little bit too aggressive with the dark. When in doubt, blur it out. I ruined it. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, my breathing changes, you know, and the hours just fly by. I literally have to say, okay, it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning, you know, so I'm going to start and then I'll be like, you know, well, why am I hungry? And it's like, oh, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Definitely cool, man. All right. And let's see let's look at it I, it looks like okay so that you see this brush right here man you see this brush this brush costs 25 dollars and it is worth every freaking penny man <laughs> it's crazy it's my favorite brush I gotta produce the show and paint. Come on, ma'am. <laughs> and put the laugh track in. What's going on? Okay, this literally is like angel breath on the freaking canvas, man. So it looks like I want to. I don't know how you how you can see the resolution, but for this looks like I, I need more here I want to do the whole painting at the same time I don't want to focus on one thing you know so I, I'm very conscious about not staying in one position and this looks like it could get more more better beautiful more more white in the more titanium white every time I see say Every time I say talk, how come 
Bro, I'm out of the freaking. I'm out of the. Am I out of the thing? Am I out of the. Okay, so let's get back to the show. Start from current slide. Okay. So yeah, leave your comments. Do you find this interesting, or is it the most boring thing that you've ever seen in your life? If you're interested in learning the method, let me know. Oh, don't you know? Because I give classes on. This is getting in the way. And I, I make a point to where. A suit and tie, because I ain't one of them hippie artists just whining about everything, telling, telling everybody how oppressed I am. <laughs> that ain't me, baby. And so because of that, because I am not, I mean, Paris is a super duper left country in the art market you know here um, put you know portrays that so it's very difficult for me to operate in the gallery system here that's why I did a lot of private events couldn't deal with them uh, Yeah, that's looking pretty good. You see how this brush works? Let's see, let's get an overhead shot of what I'm doing here. So yeah, I'm just dabbing. This brush is beautiful. All right. So that is, is basically the method and I've gotten so quick that you know I can do about I don't know two or three paintings well actually I just did like six paintings in one week <laughs> okay do you see what I'm seeing it looks like we could hit this up right here with some brightness come on now we could hit that up with some brightness what do you say you put on your favorite music. Can you imagine sitting out in the backyard in the patio? Right? Maybe you try a little, maybe you try a little, uh, Clean air. And so, yeah, we're going to be on a collaborative effort in celebration of the fact that I'm going to be serving these major, major commissions, man. It's going to be gonna be awesome okay you see I'm, I'm over the top there a little bit too too much right so I remove some paint and that's what's so magical about this here brush man it just is like wow When in doubt, blur it out. I got a little bit of, you know. And it looks like 
looks like her teeth. Because it's a wood panel, I can see some of the grain popping through. Get back in there, grain. What you trying to do? <laughs> so what do you see? I see that we can get lighter here. We can get lighter here. And probably here, here, but not too much. Eyes and... Eyes and... <clears throat> teeth are weird if you hit them too bright because the intuition is like oh I want to make nice bright white teeth but if you hit the teeth and the eyes too bright you know you get this ghoulish Vincent Van Vincent what was his name Vincent Price you get Vincent Price from Thriller Yeah, this is going good. Covering these little... How's she looking? What do you say? <laughs> yeah, apparently she loved this little pug. She was a big animal lover. She used to say, dogs never bite me, only people. See, if it gets too bright, she looks like she's got buck teeth, man. That's not cool. <laughs> Marilyn Monroe with buck teeth. What are you trying to say? Marilyn and Boo Boo. Let's give it up. Marilyn and Boo Boo. What was, do you have any, any favorite names? And then doggy names. My sister had a boxer, and I used to call it the big ugly. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice enough dog, but. So what do you think? Was Marilyn killed by the CIA? Or was that all a big myth? Okay, and it looks like... Oops. That's okay, I could use some more material on there. Strange little... Yeah, all right. I think I can straighten her teeth out just a little bit. What do you think? It looks like these, these, I've got them. Yeah, I think I can straighten these out just a touch. Did I show you guys this? Okay, let's see if this event is. My name is Marilyn Monroe, and this is my little pog boo boo. Hi, my name is Marilyn Monroe, and this is my little pog boo boo. He is a gift from my friend and acting coach Natasha Lytus, and is my constant companion. Hi, my Isn't name is Marilyn Monroe, amazing? and this is my little pog boo boo. I just, that blows me away, man. Come on. And 
incredible. Let's give it up to a freaking eye. Jeez Louise. Okay. So I'm at a slight disadvantage here because I'm, you know, in broadcast mode. When I'm in broadcast mode, I'm, you know, broadcasting and painting. Should I get an award for that or something? You know, come on, man. <laughs> so, if you're an art collector, if you're an investor, okay, you see? We don't want her to look like Jeffro. You see how delicate that is? When in doubt, blur it out. Keep it as loose as you can for as long as you can. So yeah, I'm challenging art collectors, art dealers. Come on, let's make some art, man. Let's collaborate. You pick the subject and I deliver the magic. You know, like Lennon and McCartney, like Plant and Page. then create a new class of an investor, the artist investor. I think Rembrandt was that. I think he had a really good taste for investing. Okay, I gotta get off these teeth, man. So, you know, as, this is very important that as your brain, your right brain opens up, you're gonna have a tendency to stick in one place. And when you find yourself doing that, just blur it out and leave, man. I'm gonna find Hillary Clinton's portrait because I could tell that the artist did what I just did with the teeth, you know, jumped in there. He did that with the entire face of Hillary Clinton. You could see the guy was just like, I'm gonna make this perfect. I'm gonna make this perfect. It was horrific. All right, so I think I can hit this, right? A little bit of darky dark, hit this with a little bit of light light. What do you think? Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Let's see if we get an overhead shot. Let's get the sky cam, man. <laughs> okay, just ever so slightly. And so what the argument that I'm making is that 96% of the eye 96% of the eye is designed to see tone. The rod is God because the rod sees tone. The cones don't, they see color. Only 4% of the eye perceives color. All right? You hear what I'm saying? So all of these, you know, color jockeys like the impressionist that everybody loves and i like the impressionist too but you know they're not van gogh i'd be like oh my god van gogh these are color jockeys man they're not owning the tone 
Okay, so I feel that I can push, I'm pushing the, the crease of the eye up. I think I'm a little bit too low. So if I wanted to with this method, I, you know, I can measure. I'm not going to do it now because I have to get out of. I have to get out of presentation mode. Okay. And this part of the painting, I really super enjoy because, well, you know, I'm at the stage now when I was younger and more ridiculous, I would, I would, you know, go so far in. It's like mixing music, you know? The first mix is always like the best. Oh yeah, baby, come on, we're cooking with gas now, people. It's very easy to get lost. And I'm gonna find this Hillary Clinton portrait and show you how this artist just, just his right brain opened up and the, and the canvas fell in. <laughs> to be that guy. Okay, how we looking? How we looking? See anything else? I can't see the comments right now cuz I've got too much going on on the screens, but leave your name in the comments if you like to learn more and if you want to be part of my uh portfolio where we're going to collaborate and create a portfolio together then we're just going to rage endlessly using um, social media and SEO techniques to create a buzz and then just completely watch our paintings just Rocket, rocket in, in value. Maybe we'll, you know, maybe we'll turn them into NFTs. Man, it's up to us. It's our portfolio. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it looks like her lip right here. Okay, so right there. So I know now my right brain brain is going mental because I see that and I want right and I want to recreate that right above this and see you know if that tooth placer is wrong then do you see what I see baby come on So yeah, and let's see, I see like here, this could use a nice little, a little br blushing up, you know what I mean? Get out the blush brush, where's the blush brush? Okay, so I like to use this. You see how it looks afraid? <laughs> Oops, where are we? Change. 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 Okay, see how it's all so like, yeah! So I like to use that. Oops, sorry. You see what I see? Right here. Right there, could use a little blushing up. So let me get back to the sky cam here. 
and then you know you know i don't know a little bit of white spirits the white spirit of the white spirituals dry it off and then kind of just you know ladies you probably would be good at this and so then we come back here okay drum roll please i said drum roll please where's my drum roll <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'll have to figure that out later all right so all right you see that do you see what i see huh you see what i see we just want to kind of come in there like that oh oh i'm liking it Yeah, baby. So let's get out the magic. And so we won't want it to jump in. We don't want it to jump in. All right. So if you're interested in joining my portfolio collaboration, Right? You gotta you gotta get in as quick as you can because prices go up like really really soon and I'm getting a lot of inquiries like man what are you what are you trying to say? Hey, do you see what I see? Huh? 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 Come on. When in doubt, blur it. Move it out. Yeah. Oops. I just clean these. This the cleaner <laughs> comment. <laughs> oh, she just looking too sweet. She looking too sweet. the magic brush hey it looks like we could bring this down just a teeny tiny right do you think bring it down bring the whole thing down bring the whole thing down You know, I was doing Carla Bruni once, painting uh, Carla Bruni. It was funny. One wrong move and you got Michael Jackson. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know who Carla Bruni is. The former, the sort of the Melania Trump of France. Okay. I'm starting to confuse the source image with my image. That's a good sign. <laughs> Looking good. Okay, it looks like I can cut that in right about there. You see what I see? Huh? You see what I say? You see what I say? Cut it in. Cut it in. Oh, good. Cut it in even more. Don't give her no fat neck. Cut that neck down. Marilyn don't need no fat neck. It looks like this could get more defined too. And when you have one sort of color or one sort of tone, 
it's good to go around the canvas like looking for other tones. Like, where else can I put this, man? Where else can I put this? Where else can I put this? Come on, puggy face. You got some places I can put this. That's an adorable face. I bet you Joe DiMaggio was li was like, I wish you would hold me like that. Okay, so I'm going moving on to the pug. Looks like there's a couple of things here I could define. And looks like I can bring some some tone here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. I got crazy and cleaned my brushes like a madman. Okay, so. And this is basically the method. All of the moves, the shizzle, the, the, the shizzle my fists. <laughs> All of the decisions and the moves I'm making now the assessments I'm making me squinting the eyes and coming back and the assessments I'm making every Renaissance painter from Da Vinci up through Caravaggio and Velasquez and all of the great painters they were all making the same selections. They were saying, well, oh, I gotta go here. Because, you know, they didn't have color, man. Old masters didn't have no, they had to grind it everything by hand. You know what I'm saying? They weren't like uh, Van Gogh eating this paint. You know? So you see I'm clearly over the top in terms of whiteness. So that's basically the method. And I have no idea if I'm boring the living Christ out of people. <laughs> or what, I'm sort of in my own little world there. All right, so I've been on for about 40 minutes. Okay, cool. So I'm going to continue, but I'm not going to require that you be <laughs> here with me. So once again, we're doing a collaborative portfolio. I'm especially targeting art dealers, uh, uh, art investors, people who love art but never felt they had what it takes to actually be a part of the artistic process. So this is gonna be so fun, fun. Can't wait. Anyways, we are at the dawn of a new golden age. Come here, broadcasting from Bailey. from Paris you know last time we had this time together gotta always has have an ending sequence it's obligatoire so thanks again for tuning in we'll talk more about the collaborative portfolio so all right take care au revoir